Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, we're going to talk about the concept of no mind or mushin. Uh, this will expand on the discussion we had on the water book by Miyamoto Musashi. And to do this, uh, we're going to look at some clips from uh, The Last Samurai, uh, the Tom Cruise movie. And we're going to start by uh, looking at one clip from the movie where Tom's character, Nathan Algren, gets introduced to the concept of no mind or motion. Let's take a look at the clip. Please forgive. Too many mind. Too many mind? Hi. Mind the sword. Mind the people what? Mind the enemy. Too many mind. No mind. No mind. <laughs> We're going to look at the concepts in the previous clip from the works by the Buddhist monk Takwan Soho in the collection of essays called The Unfettered Mind. Takwan Soho lived from 1573 to 1645 and was a contemporary of Miyamoto Musashi. There is no evidence that uh, Takwan and Musashi met, but uh, Takwan appears in many of the fictional accounts of Miyamoto Musashi, and it is no doubt that Musashi was probably familiar with uh, this Buddhist monk. So let's get to the next clip and we will o overlay the works of the Buddhist monk Takuan Soho. Putting the mind in one place is called falling into one-sidedness. One-sidedness is said to be bias in one place. Correctness is in moving about anywhere. The correct mind shows itself by extending the mind throughout the body. It is not biased in any one place. When the mind is biased in one place and lacking in another, it is called the one-sided mind. One-sidedness is despicable. To be arrested by anything, no matter what, is falling into one-sidedness and is despised by those traveling the way. When a person does not think, where shall I put it? The mind will extend throughout the entire body and move about to any place at all. Not putting the mind anywhere, can't use the mind, having it go from place to place, responding to the opponent's movements. If the mind moves about the entire body, when the hand is called into action, one should use the mind that is in the hand. When the foot is called for, one should use the mind that is in the foot. But if you determine one place in which to put it, when you try to draw it out of that place, there it will stay. It will be without function. Keeping the mind like a tied up cat and not allowing it to wander. When you keep it in check within yourself, within yourself it will be detained. Forsaking it within your body, it will go nowhere. The effort not to stop the mind in just one place, this is discipline. Not stopping the mind is object and essence. Put it nowhere, it will be everywhere. Even in moving the mind outside the body, if it is sent in one direction, it will be lacking in nine others. If the mind is not restricted to just one direction, it will be in all ten. Now we're going to look at what we've just watched and listened to from the point of view of Miyamoto Musashi in the fifth book of the Book of Five Rings called the Book of the Void. Musashi said, the Nito Ichi way of strategy is recorded in this, the Book of the Void. What is called the spirit of the void is where there is nothing. It is not included in man's knowledge. Of course the void is nothingness. By knowing things that exist, 
You can know that which does not exist. That is the void. People in this world look at things mistakenly, and they think that what they do not understand must be the void. That is not the true void. It is bewilderment. In the way of strategy also, those who study as warriors think that whatever they cannot understand in their craft is the void. This is not the true void. To attain the way of strategy as a warrior, you must study fully other martial arts and not deviate even a little from the way of the warrior. With your spirit settled, accumulate practice day by day and hour by hour. Polish the twofold spirit, heart, and mind and sharpen the twofold gaze perception and sight. When your spirit is not in the least clouded, when the clouds of bewilderment clear away, there is the true void. Until you realize the true way, whether in Buddhism or in common sense, you may think that things are correct and in order. However, if we look at things objectively from the viewpoint of laws of the world, we see various doctrines departing from the true way. Know well the spirit, and with forthrightness as the foundation and the true spirit as the way, enact strategy broadly, correctly, and openly. Then you will come to think of things in a wide sense, and taking the void as the way, you will see the way as void. In the void is virtue and no evil. Wisdom has existence, principle has existence, the way has existence, spirit is nothingness. Miyamoto Musashi Thanks for watching and a low